Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to create grouped variables in Stata. In order to do so, let's go ahead and load the NLSW88 dataset that comes pre-built in Stata. And I'm going to create a new variable here. I'm going to show you the code that I'm going to use and then talk you through it a bit. So I'm using eGen and I'm calling this new variable RaceMar. And I'm saying that this variable is a group variable of race and married status, which is called married in the data set. I'm using a comma and a label after that. So the first thing I'd like you to do is just look at this code, observe it, I'm going to run it, and then I'm going to show you what it actually created in Stata. So as you can see here for race, you know, we have the standard races for married, we have single uh, married, there might be widowed or divorced, I'm not sure. And then what I've created here at the very end of it, this column that I'm highlighting, is race mark. So what we've done is we've combined variables that used to be separate. Like So for example, the first person in this data set is both black and single. So having created the race mar variable, that's now one single value in the data set. And if you go down here, you can see you know the different combinations. There's white, married, and so forth. We could actually maybe do a tab command on race mar to show you what the characteristics are. And actually, we see that there's six. There are six groups there white single, white married, black single, and so forth, and we can actually see what their frequencies are. So we just created this variable out of scratch, out of two existing variables. Why might that be necessary? Well, one of the things that's cool about that with a large data set in particular is that there can be interaction effects, we might want to call them, or maybe let's not use that technical term. There might be effects related to group variables that you don't see until you actually group them together. So in order to show you that, I've entered this command here. I'm doing an analysis uh, based on just a summary here. I'm just gathering descriptive statistics for now. And I'm using the command by race mar comma sort so that it's broken out by these six categories that I created here, as you can see. And I want to know the wage. So I might be interested in does wage differ for let's say a, a single black person versus a married black person or a single white person versus a married black person so on and so forth so what i've done with this command and this new variable that i've created i have created a way to test those means and these means are in dollars per hour you can tell by their magnitude that these are very old data in this case from i think 1988 that's why they're so low but we start off with a pretty good overview of what the differences might be by these six categories and then what we could do next in something like that is, you know, we could run maybe an analysis of variance, follow that up with like a, a Tukey's test, and I'm going to add in a, a CI plot, a confidence interval plot, just to see how my new group variable influences wage. So let me highlight that code for you that I've put in. And once again, if you go to the corresponding page on 272analytics.com, you can download all of this code and, and run it yourself without having to retype it. Anyway. Let's run those commands, and I'm waiting for the generation of my graphic because it's going to show some cool things here. Okay, so here are our six categories, and we can look at the confidence interval spans and, you know, get some comparisons here. Even before we get into Tukey's, for example, we can see that a white single person has a significantly higher hourly wage than a white married person or a black single person or a black married person. So there's a lot of conclusions we could reach just from the CI plot. Uh, but notice what Stata has done. We also have the ANOVA here. And then we have the Tukey's uh, pairwise comparisons that allow us to compare you know, all of these different uh, categories. And then what we could do uh, even further, we could create, like let's say, uh, a box plot you know, to further understand. And let me just quickly highlight this code for you that I've used. I'm creating a, a box plot of wage over race mar, which is that variable that I created. And this code that I'm highlighting over here is just a means of identifying the outliers, bearing in mind that the index variable is ID code. So that being said, we can just pull up that graph again and see what it looks like. It's just another way of understanding the distributions. And because there are so many outliers, you might you might want to run that box plot without this code here at the end or you might just want to use the CI plot or something like that. Anyway though, the purpose has been to focus on how you create that grouped variable and you know start to see some of the interactions and effects that you might not normally see unless you create your own interactions. And I do want to point out to you that in Stata that's pretty easy. 
there's operators where you can create interactions between any variable and any other variable. But I think it can also be useful in some context to create that group variable and just keep it there uh, in your data set. You know, the great advantage here is when you when you create that, it's just going to remain in your data set. Whereas if you use like interaction commands while you're doing estimations in Stata, you're not actually creating that you know, separate variable to keep track of. So depending on how important that kind of group variable is to you, it can be it can be a good thing to actually make sure it's captured within your data set. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.